We learned how to validate our code in the last video. Let's move along and add some text. First, I'm going to remove the word resume and just have my name. Remember that you can make this resume for yourself or you can just type what I type. Since this is a resume, I want to add my title and location. Homer Simpson is a nuclear safety inspector, so I will type nuclear safety inspector, Springfield nuclear power plant, Springfield state 55555. Save the file and go live. Okay, what's going on here? We see that Homer Simpson has space around it, but the title and location text are all on the same line. The reason that this happens is because HTML ignores white space. White space is the name we give for any space we use to break our code into readable chunks. Okay, but then why is Homer Simpson on its own line and the rest of the text on another line? This is because each HTML element has specific definitions called attributes. The default attributes of the H4 tag tells the web browser to bold the text and add two lines of blank space around it. The title and location information is not wrapped in any tag at all. Let's check to see if this is allowed. Yes, having content in the body that is not wrapped in a tag is allowed in the HTML5 standard, which may surprise those of you who have learned HTML before. This was not allowed in previous standards. Like I said before, the editor interprets any blank space as white space, which it happily ignores. Our text that is not wrapped in a tag doesn't have any definitions which apply to it, while Homer Simpson is wrapped in an H4 tag, and that has definitions that tell the editor to put space around it. If you want to force text onto a new line, we use the BR tag. BR stands for break or line break. BR tags do not require a closing tag like most of the other tags. This is because there isn't a beginning or an end to a line break. It is just a break. We will see a few more tags that don't have closing tags in the next video. I will explain why they don't have closing tags in the next video, so stay tuned. Let's add some BR tags and check our work. That's better. As a side note, if you wanted, you can type all of your HTML code on one line and your web page would look the same as it does right now. Don't do this. Just follow along and I will show you what I mean. Watch what happens when I get rid of this white space. The web page looks exactly the same. I'm going to undo this by using Control or Command Z, which undoes the changes that I just made. What is the point of nesting our code if it doesn't make a difference to the way the web page is displayed? Tabbing in code when it is wrapped in another tag is called nesting. Why do we nest code? We do it because it makes it so much easier to read and edit our code in the future. Any time that we have code wrapped by another element, we want to tab it in once, and any time we close a tag, the editor should automatically move back one tab space. If it doesn't, you can manually move a tab back by pressing Shift-Tab. Here's a quick example. The title tag is nested in the head tag, and it is also tabbed over once relative to the head tag. This makes it a child of the head tag and a grandchild of the HTML tag. Because I nest my elements correctly, I can easily follow with my cursor the opening and closing tag of most of my elements. This will make editing my work and finding bugs so much quicker so it is well worth the effort of learning how to properly nest your elements. You may be asking yourself why I didn't break out the content of our title or our H4 tag so we can easily see the opening and closing tags of these elements like our other elements. That is a great question, and the answer to that question is that you can do that. But with elements that have content inside of them that are the lowest child element, it is unnecessary to break them into separate lines because they usually don't run on multiple lines of code so we usually just open and close them on the same line. 